Hi, so this is my little review of iBike Newton. Uh, this is a cycling computer that measures speed, uh, power, and all kinds of other stuff like wind speed, or um, heart rate, or cadence, and so on. Uh, you can connect it to the computer and it shows you graphs, you know, statistics, and all that stuff. Um, you don't need a power meter, you, you don't need that. Um, this thing um, has actually calculations, uh, you know, considering this wind speed and the incline and all that, and it, it uh, calculates the power. I don't know how accurate that is, but some say that it's, you know, very, very similar to the power meter you would buy you know, to your wheel or to your crank set. Um, so, this is the package. All there was in this package was this computer and cable, USB cable, and the combined uh, winds, the combined speed sensor and cadence sensor. And that's it. There was no CD. You can download the application on the iBike Newton page. So, that's it. So here's the wind sensor. This is how it looks like. And if you want to take it down, you just unscrew this and then pull it off. So it's good, it's it's very stable. So this is how it looks like. There's only one thing you put on your bike, and that's this combined cadence and speed sensor. Uh, the cadence sensor stopped, stopped working for me after like 20 rides, but um, the um, iBike had replaced it for me for free. I'm waiting for a new one, this is the old one. And that's all. So the installation is very easy. I mean, you just put it on and then you make one ride. There's no need for calibration. The yeah, you know, the tilt calibration that was used before, it's not needed anymore. So, if you press here, it shows average speed, average power, and average calories, but... No, no, not average calories, but if you had the cadence or heart rate strap on, which are both included in the package, you would see this here, average. And then, one more, it shows maximum speed, maximum power, and here will be again maximum cadence or maximum heart rate. I mean, the thing I don't like, I don't, I had to get used to was the thing that if you have heart rate and cadence, it it's here, you know, like for two seconds you see cadence, then it switches for like two seconds again heart rate trap. So it just, you know, blame, you know, um, shit, how do you say that? Well, it switches. So you can't see both at the same time here. And there's no really any customization to be done. You know, like you would have, for example, um, uh, on the Garmin, which, you know, which basically costs the same price and you would get the color display and touch screen, you know, all the features. So this in comparison looks really like uh, you know, really old stuff, but nonetheless, um, it's uh, really smart, I think. Uh, uh, and I consider this to be my best investment for this for a bike. It really makes uh, training much better, you know, so you see how you improve your power. And the display, I mean, it's not like the high tech stuff, but you see everything very clearly and you know there's nothing to you know complain really I mean it could have better functionality but you know whatever so uh, there's also there's a bunch of features and you can check it out by looking at the uh, instructions you can download on iBike 
you know, so there you can see everything. And also you can download the application there. And there are some sample data, so you can see how it comes up in, on your computer. So you see, you know, uh, all the graphs and all of that, which is uh, interesting. Uh, it would be much better if you could connect it to, you know, Google Maps and see also the uh, the road, you know, which you've taken. But an iBike offers the functionality, but you need a phone, Android or you know iPhone. But it costs like I think hundred dollars. I mean the fees, the extras you pay. I mean they're, in my opinion, they're ridiculous. I mean, for example, the power stroke functions, which this one doesn't have, it costs, I think, 100 or $150. And, you know, I didn't take it because for that price you can have, uh, uh, you know, how's it called, that they measure your body and then they customize your bike for it, which basically eliminates all the losses you would get, you would get from the power stroke. So. So that's about it. I can happily recommend it, and there's also a link uh, in the description where I bought this from because the seller was very helpful when I needed to, um, you know, when I had problem with the cadence sensor. So you have speed, power and calories. Here is also um, cadence or heart rate if you are connected to it. Um, here this switches to the you know hill uh, degree, wind speed and speed. If I click the center, it shows how many rides have I done in this trip and then the total time for this trip environment here you see temperature and time degrees, wind speed and altitude and that's all and then on the left here's battery this is uh, coach house calories here's the trip distance and how many uh, meters I've climbed, I guess. Here's the normalized power I've done on this trip. This is... Uh, and this is... Uh, how much memory do I have for? This is total. Um, this thing shows how much, how intense is my training. 1.0 would be uh, that I'm giving my best, and 0.85 is like 5. That's that means 85%. So that means I'm in a recovery mode. And this shows how much tiredness I will have next day. And then here's the setup. Here's the calibration for wind. I don't know what that is. That's a user menu. Fast start. That's if you have the uh, Newton. How is that called? Shit. I don't know. Uh, was that that's bro that's the date I think erase data 
that's a record interval that's a profile for which bike you're using that's a filtering mode um, so it doesn't jump you know up and down so much the power so that that was set for three seconds it's scan for if you have you know heart rate strap or cadence sensor and this is weight of bike plus my weight and it's current altitude this battery and then there was calibration ride uh, shit. and that's it